A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came unto me. Mortal, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy and say to them, to the shepherds. Thus says the Lord God. Ah, you shepherds of Israel who have been feeding yourselves. Should not the shepherds feed the sheep? You eat fat. You clothe yourselves with the wool. You slaughter the fatlings, but you do not feed the sheep. You have not strengthened the weak. You have not healed the sick. You have not bound up the injured. You have not brought back the strayed. You have not sought the loss. But with force and harshness you have ruled them. So they were scattered because there was no shepherd. And scattered, they became food for all the wild animals. My sheep were scattered. They wandered over all the mountains and on every high hill. My sheep were scattered over all the face of the earth with no one to search or seek for them. Therefore, you shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. As I live, says the Lord God, because my sheep have become a prey and my sheep have become food for all the wild animals since there was no shepherd and because my shepherds have not searched for my sheep but the shepherds have fed themselves and not fed my sheep. Therefore, you shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, I am against the shepherds. And I will demand my sheep at their hand and put a stop to their feeding the sheep. No longer shall the shepherds feed themselves. I will rescue my sheep from their mouths so that they may not be food for them. For thus says the Lord God, I myself will search for my sheep and will seek them out. As shepherds seek out their flocks when they are among their scattered sheep, so I will seek out my sheep. I will rescue them from the places to which they have been scattered on a day of clouds and thick darkness. I will bring them out from the peoples and gather them from the countries and will bring them into their own land. And I will feed them on the mountains of Israel, by the watercourses and in all the inhabited parts of the land. I will feed them with good pasture and the mountain heights of Israel shall be their pasture. There they shall lie down in good grazing land, and they shall feed on rich pasture in the mountains of Israel. I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep, and I will make them lie down, says the Lord God. I will seek the lost, and I will bring back the strayed, and I will bind up the injured, and I will strengthen the weak. But the fat and the strong I will destroy. I will feed them with justice. Here ends the first lesson.
a reading from the Gospel of John. About the middle of the festival, Jesus went up into the temple and began to teach. The Jews were astonished at it, saying, How does this man have such learning when he has never been taught? Then Jesus answered them, My teaching is not mine, but his who sent me. Anyone who resolves to do the will of God will know whether the teaching is from God or whether I am speaking on my own. Those who speak on their own seek their own glory, but the one who seeks the glory of him who sent him is true, and there is nothing false in him. Did not Moses give you the law? Yet none of you keeps the law. Why are you looking for an opportunity to kill me? The crowd answered, You have a demon. Who is trying to kill you? Jesus answered them, I performed one work, and all of you are astonished. Moses gave you circumcision. It is, of course, not from Moses, but from the patriarchs. And you circumcise a man on the Sabbath. If a man receives circumcision on the Sabbath in order that the law of Moses may not be broken, are you angry with me because I healed a man's whole body on the Sabbath? Do not judge by appearances, but judge with right judgment. Now, some of the people of Jerusalem were saying, Is not this the man whom they were trying to kill? And here he is, speaking openly, but they say nothing to him. Can it be that the authorities really know that this is the Messiah? Yet we know where this man is from. But when the Messiah comes, no one will know where he is from. Then Jesus cried out as he was teaching in the temple, You know me, and you know where I am from. I have not come on my own, but the one who sent me is true, and you do not know him. I know him because I am from him, and he sent me. Then they tried to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him, because his hour had not yet come. Yet many in the crowd believed in him and were saying, When the Messiah comes, will he do more signs than this man has done? Here ends the second lesson.
was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to trust the faith and the dead. I believe the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the last Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. of this world may be so peaceably ordered by thy governance that thy church may joyfully serve thee in all godly quietness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the same Spirit, one God world without end. O oh God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits 
of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Light in our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ.
Let us pray. We pray in times of international tension. Almighty God, ruler of all, in whose kingdom peace and righteousness abound, we pray for the peoples of Ukraine and Russia as they suffer the ravages of war. Take away prejudice, cruelty and revenge. Grant that barriers which divide may crumble, suspicions disappear and hatred cease. Through Jesus Christ, our mediator. Amen. We pray for good government. Spirit of justice and truth, grant to our governments and all who serve in public life wisdom and skill, imagination and energy. Protect them from corruption and the temptation of self-serving. Help us to commit ourselves to the common good, that our land may be a secure home for all its peoples. Through Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace. Amen. We pray for those who work. God of creation, we pray for all who work in our offices and factories of this land. Enable them to live and work together in harmony and safety and offer to you the fruits of their toil for the good of all. Give respect and dignity to all labor, discernment and skill to those who develop new technologies and wisdom to all who carry out great responsibilities. You have given us the knowledge to produce plenty. Give us also the will to bring it within the reach of all. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so we pray for faithfulness. Christ, whose insistent call disturbs our settled lives, give us discernment to hear your word, grace to relinquish our tasks, and courage to follow empty-handed wherever you may lead, so that the voice of your gospel may reach to the ends of the earth. Amen. Almighty God, who hast given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and us promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be most expedient for them granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. And we pray the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank mm -hmm. you.
the peace of God, which passeth all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.